In Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, the epic clash between Doomsday and Superman is a pivotal moment that builds on the rivalry between Batman and Superman, but escalates into a world-threatening conflict. After Batman and Superman have resolved their differences, Lex Luthor, having manipulated events from the shadows, unleashes a monstrous creature called Doomsday. Created using General Zod's body and Kryptonian technology in a genetic experiment, Doomsday is a near-indestructible beast with incredible strength and regenerative abilities, making him a formidable opponent even for Superman. The battle takes place in the heart of Metropolis and Gotham, causing massive destruction. Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, who joins the fray to lend her strength and skills fight Doomsday together. Wonder Woman holds her own with her combat skills and powerful weaponry, including the Lasso of Truth and her indestructible sword. Batman, though outmatched in terms of raw power, uses his tactical genius and kryptonite-based weaponry to weaken Doomsday, creating an opening for Superman. In the climactic moment, Superman realizes that the only way to kill Doomsday is with a kryptonite spear, which Batman had previously fashioned to use against him. Knowing the lethal risk of kryptonite to himself, Superman makes the ultimate sacrifice, driving the spear into Doomsday and fatally wounding the creature. In the process, Superman is mortally wounded by one of Doomsday's bone protrusions. The battle ends with both Superman and Doomsday seemingly dead, leading to a somber conclusion that mourns Superman's heroism and sacrifice. This confrontation ultimately sets the stage for Superman's later resurrection and the formation of the Justice League, marking his sacrifice as a unifying moment for Earth's heroes. Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the McFarlane, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Doomsday and Superman 2 pack. Now, I know for a lot of collectors, Doomsday is the main attraction here, but for me, it's all about that Henry Cavill Superman. This version of Superman is actually a re-release of McFarlane's first year of DC Multiverse movie figure. Back then, I wasn't really collecting the movie-based figures, focusing more on the comic characters. So, this two-pack gives me the perfect chance to finally add Cable's Superman to my collection. Let's jump right into the review. Starting off with the Cable Superman, I think the head sculpt is impressive. It really does capture Cable's likeness quite well. The sculpted Superman emblem is sharp and beautifully painted, and I love the texture detailing across the suit, which gives it that premium look. The gold belt is also neatly painted, and the dark blue finish on the suit looks fantastic. However, one issue I noticed is that the knee and elbow joints are of different color from the rest of the suit, which can be a bit distracting. The red on the boots had a nice pop of color, and it matches well with the wired cloth cape. A big upgrade for this figure. Overall, aside from those mismatched joints, the finish and overall look are impressive.
As for accessories, Superman comes with McFarlane's standard art card. Standard base or stand. Alternate hands including a weapon holding hand. A pointing hand. And two flat hands for applying poses. And here's the kicker. He also comes with the kryptonite spear. For those who miss out on the platinum armored Batman with the exclusive kryptonite spear, this is another way to get it for the regular release figure. Now, for the articulation, let's start with the head articulation. So you can do that, you can do that. Well, joint is really tight. You can look up that high, you can look down, and then side to side. Now I also consider this as part of the articulation. The cape is wired, so it has two wires on the side, so that's uh, that's really had the pen factor in posing this figure. For the hands and shoulder, you can do that. Then you can do the T pose. Then there's that joint there, so you can do a little bit of that. It also has a bicep cut here, which is very tight on my copy. And then double jointed elbow. And then a double peg wrist joint for the hands. He has a abdominal cut and also a bit of a... It's a tight on my copy but it has a waist rotation. So you can, together, you can lean backward that far, you can lean forward, not so much, then side to side. For the legs, so he has a little bit of thigh swivel, you can keep forward that far, you can kick backward that Far, and then double jointed knee, then for the ankle, there's that ankle pivot, and you can do that, then he also has for articulation. Then you can do the bend them that far. So that's for the articulation. Moving on to Doomsday. Now let's be real. This isn't exactly the Doomsday we're used to seeing in the comics. In the movie, it doesn't really scream Doomsday to me. He looked more like some mutated sad zombie. It wasn't until after the movie when people were calling him Doomsday that it clicked, but hey, this is our live action Doomsday in figure form, so let's take a look.
First, let's talk skill. When standing next to Cable Superman and the armored Batman, Doomsday does look imposing, though he might have been even larger in the movie. Not sure about that? McFarlane chose the megapig scale here, so he's definitely a presence on the shelf. Now the sculpt and paintwork. This is where McFarlane really shines. They went all out with the textured details, giving Doomsday that gritty, monstrous look. It's done in a matte finish, which suits him perfectly. The color scheme includes light blue, mustard yellow for the bone protrusions and nails, and brown as a top coat. It looks like they used a light blue plastic base, then painted the bones and nails in the mustard yellow, finishing with the brown wash. The end result is excellent, although the oversized diaper piece can be a bit distracting. For articulation, let's be honest, McFarlane's Mega Pigs often fall short in this department, and this Doomsday is no exception. But let's take a closer look at each point of articulation and see what he can do. Alright, let's get into it. So first, for the head articulation, you can... Uh, you can look left and right, and basically that's it, because I don't think you can even look up and down, or side to side. So, for the head articulation, it's only that. Then it doesn't have a cut here, he only has a waist rotation. So he can bend backward that far, but he cannot bend forward and hmm, side to side is actually pretty good. For the hands, he can do that can do the T-pose and then this is what I do not like with McFarlane Mega Pig. They always give them only a single joint elbow so that's the only range it has and then there's rotation there. Then for the arms, there's that. For the legs, yeah, Thai Swivel is pretty much non-existent. And then to double down, he only has one joint here on the knee, so he, can, he only has that much range. Then rotation again, which I don't know. I don't think we need that. It would have been better if he has double joints here. Then for the knee, you can do that. Then I call it Pivot and toe articulation Wait, just look at that that's a really ugly cut now you can kick forward that far then you can kick back that far you can do the bend dam and yeah that's pretty much it for the articulation So, final verdict, the McFarlane Batman v Superman Doomsday and Superman 2-pack is a solid addition for fans of the movie and collectors of the DC Multiverse line. For me, Cable Superman is the real standout here. Sculpted detail, wired cloth cape, and accessories, especially that kryptonite spear, make him feel like a premium figure despite a few issues with joint color mismatches. Doomsday, while a bit controversial in design compared to his comic counterpart, still brings that raw, monstrous presence. McFarlane's attention to texture and paint detail really shines, even if articulation is limited. 
If you're a fan of these iconic characters and want a well-crafted display piece, this set is definitely worth considering. Thanks for joining me for this review. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future reviews. Until next time, happy collecting!